Walnut Street Theater. This is Amy Bodner coming to you from Union City, New Jersey. How are you? I hope you're safe and healthy and that you're surviving this time. Um, Walnut Street Theater contacted me and asked me to share some memories of my time at Walnut. And the first thing I want to say is it's one of the best theaters in the country. I felt so lucky to ever work there. I've gotten to work there five times. The first two times were in productions of Annie and Annie Warbucks, where I played Grace Farrell. The third time, I played Ula Inga Hansen Benson, Janssen Talen, Harlan Spaden Sponsen Bloom in The Producers. Uh, the fourth time is the, sh the show that is going to actually be the show I provide the memory from, so I'll come right back to that. The fifth time, I was Dora Lee in 9 to 5. So I'll change you from a rooster to a hen with one shot. Remember that one? And yes, it is intimidating to play a character that Dolly Parton made famous when Dolly Parton is hanging over your head narrating the show. Um, but my memory comes from How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying, where I played Hedy LaRue opposite the incredible Mark Jacoby. It's one of my favorite things I've ever done anywhere, anytime. And the memory is actually a pretty serious memory because um, it just showed me what an amazing organization Walnut Street Theater truly is from the inside out. I'd always enjoyed my times there and thought that we did stellar productions, but this story is gonna share with you a little bit about the heart of Walnut Street Theater. I became very, very sick after the invited dress rehearsal of uh, how to succeed at Walnut and was very sick throughout the entire night. The next day was a day off, so all of my friends had left the hotel. They'd gone away to do their things that they do on a day off. I called the offices and reached Catherine McCumber, who was then the company manager of Walnut Street Theater. She immediately came to the hotel in a taxi cab, took me to the ER, and proceeded to sit with me for about seven hours plus until I was rolled into the operating room and had my appendix removed. Um, I was very, very sick and quite alone. And the angelic and completely selfless behavior of this incredible company manager was just a godsend to me. I came to find out that both Bernard and Judy had called the hospital, Bernard Havard and Judy Havard had called the hospital telling them that I was an important patient. And after the fact, Mark Sylvester came to me and said, anything that you need, we will be here for you. Because he realized that one night in the hospital cost me about $50,000. It showed me that I wasn't just working for a theater, I was working for an organization that truly loved and cared about the people who worked for them. Anytime that you go to see Walnut Street Theater now, you can know that you're not just supporting an organization that has great entertainment. You're supporting an organization that has great people so I wanted to share that with you, particularly during this time when some of us are feeling alone and missing our theater. When you go back to the theater, you can feel so proud that Philadelphia has this incredible organization to bring you joy and to bring you love and to take care of you and to take care of its artists. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to share with you, and I can't wait to see you all again. I'm sending you all my great love and wishes for staying safe and healthy. Mwah.